Welcome again to Reflections on the Community and its Cultures. This time around, a look at some uh, unique pet issues and also a preview of a community cultural festival. Um, later on, Debbie Miller will talk to us about an up upcoming pet seminar. Some very interesting information coming there. First up, uh, Jim Dittmer and Marsha Bossi will let us know about the fun of what's become a big annual event in our community, the German Fest. All that's coming up on Reflections. On this segment of Reflections, we welcome Jim Dittmer and Marsha Bossi, um, who are here to talk about, uh, again, what's become a, a bigger, it seems like every year, uh, activity in our community. The uh, uh, German Fest comes to us uh, courtesy of Zion Lutheran Church in Independence. And uh, this says event coordinator. Does that cover both of you? Yeah, that's kind of my role. Oh, that's kind of your role. Okay. She, she is part of the uh, board that that oh. we put that helps put this together. So you have to supervise this dude, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they keep me in line. <laughs> so our sympathies are with you. Uh, Jim, you've been with us uh, a few times before in talking about the, the, the German Fest. Do you know right offhand what the, this is the ex annual German Fest? Yeah, this is gonna be our 13th wow. annual one. And uh, the first five were done kind of in-house at the church. And we had so much outside interest that uh, we uh, started uh, hosting it out at, the, out at the park on the Oval. And, it, and it's been a big success. So hopefully, we're hoping every year it keeps growing. Mm -hmm. How long, and you've been with it from the get-go? I, I have. I've kind of been the event coordinator since we've taken it out to the park. The school used to do it, and, and they're still really involved a lot. Uh, but they did it, and uh, they were responsible for all the coordinating and everything for the first five years. Uh -huh. And then when we kind of turned it into a bigger event, we decided to get more people involved. and. I guess and that's the, how Marsha and I got. Oh, you were probably involved. I've been involved from oh, the very beginning. Yeah. <laughs> As a, I'm a retired teacher from the Lutheran School, uh -huh. so I so you've, have been worked with it from the so beginning. So you've had hazardous experience before, so you're, yes. you're ready to <laughs> marshal a guy like this. Um, I don't think we've ever really talked about why the Lutheran Church has a German fest. Well, we, we, uh, there's a lot of rich German history. Uh, in fact, our church is known or used to be known as the old German Lutheran Church. Mm. So ergo, it's, you know, most, in fact, my dad uh, had to speak both German and English really? in the church. And my grandparents, who also grew up in the church, were, uh, they spoke nothing but German back then and the Baden family and the Fitz family. You know, all the names you see on a lot of the buildings <laughs> downtown were, were the uh, original people in our, in our yeah. church. So there's a, a lot of history, not just with the church, but the community and Southeast Kansas too, so. Yeah, yeah, it, it's sometimes, you know, we, we talk about this as being a, a program about the cultures of the community and stuff like that. And you can forget, you, you can think, well, it's Southeast Kansas, it's just one and it's not. Right. You know, there are lots of interesting cultures going on. And speaking of the, the German roots, I mean, uh, you know, it is a Lutheran church after all. Yeah. And Mr. <laughs> Luther had some roots in that part of the world, too. Yeah, a little too. history there, right. <laughs> so, again, for, for some 13 years, you've had a, a, an activity, and for quite a number of years, for about eight years, I guess it makes it now, you said the first five were basically connected with the school. It's been wide open to the community and has really... Uh, been centered, I guess, since you kind of went public, it has been centered at the Oval in the park, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. And um, let's, let's put uh, Marsha Bossi to work a little bit. And <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about this year's event. It happens when, and well, we already know the where, the, the it, Oval at the park. It uh, will be Saturday, uh, September 24th, beginning at 4 p.m., 4 to 11. And there will be many different events. <laughs> And there's live band, good German food. Uh, for the children, we have inflatables and games. Uh -huh. So it's an event for the whole family. And uh, we like to see the children having a good time as well as the adults. Oh, indeed, indeed. Uh, a big uh, feature of the German Fest, which we touched on here a little bit, but let's hit it hard now, is food. 
Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, the, the, that's not all that the Germans are known for, <laughs> or the Lutherans are known <laughs> right, for, right. but uh, it's a big deal, isn't it? Right. What kind of foods we have? Uh, we're a lot of the just traditional uh, German food, whether it be uh, schnitzel and, and various sausage plates. Uh, uh, in fact, our food supplier has a Siggy burger, uh, and I don't know whether we want to get into who provides our food. You can do but, that, sure. Uh, when we first started, it was uh, the women in the church provided the food, and then when we kind of went public with it <laughs> and got out of the uh, two, three hundred people range and started <laughs> getting into the thousands, that's when we changed over and. Uh, Siggy's Sausage Factory out of Tulsa mm. provides all of our, comes up and, and serves and provides all the food for us. And uh, they do all the food for the Tulsa Oktoberfest, uh -huh. which is like 50,000 people that they feed. And uh, they're, they're down in Texas right now with a huge one down in Texas this weekend. Mm. And I knew I'd forget the name of it, but but anyway, they're down <laughs> down there doing a big German fest down mm -hmm. there. So, and we're really fortunate that they come up and do ours uh, because we are relatively small compared to those bigger areas. But they really like Independence, and they love coming up here, and uh, they love the people, they love the the park. Mm -hmm. uh, everything about uh, the event they like to be involved with. Yeah, isn't, isn't, it, isn't it wonderful that Riverside Park exists and that this, this space, you know, this, that's, that's available for so many things, the oval there. I mean, it's just, again, that's, that's the kind of thing we forget about every once in a while. Right. We forget how doggone lucky we are to have that oh. kind of facility. <laughs> yep. And it impresses people, like I say, you know, who, who've, been in been in Tulsa and Texas too. Oh and they yeah, still, and they still remember Independence. And both both our food and our and the people that provide the music and and they're from Kansas City and 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 they're they're the same way. They love coming to the park here and and being involved here. So okay. Well, you don't have notes right in front of you, Marsha Bossy, but I'll bet you've got I'll bet you got some information. Talk a little bit about the entertainment that that would, we can expect, if you would, or else you can just <laughs> say he should. <laughs> It is, um, I, don't, I don't know if they're a 12, 14 piece band from, wow. from Kansas City and they play all varieties of German music and polka music and it's, they're very, very good and it's, it's very, it's a very nice, uh, nice band. We have some dancers that also come from Tulsa from the, their German club in Tulsa and so while the band is playing, you know, they're they're dancing and they're in costume, and it adds a lot to the festival. Yeah, yeah, I should think a twelve to fourteen piece band—that's a big band. I mean, that dog on there qualifies as an orchestra, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you get—that's that's a pretty sizable number of folk. Other than other than groups that come direct from Germany, which we haven't seen to gotten enough funds together to start doing that yet, but uh, they are probably the best band in mid, uh, German band in the mid-America area. Yeah. Uh, a lot of, I know other organizations or other events would like for them to come, but they haven't been able to, I guess, afford them. We are relatively lucky. The state of Kansas, if uh, they give us a grant to oh. pay for part of this group because uh, it's part of the Kansas Arts uh, Commission program, mm -hmm. which uh, was actually the governor cut this year. So yeah, I was kind of struggling say. a little bit with that, but but uh, that's a whole nother yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah. Where do we send the letters? No, yeah, never right. mind. <laughs> never mind. We we won't get too deep into politics. Yeah. We'll 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 stick with and no deep not too deep into religion we'll stick to food and music and, and stuff like that <laughs> when when does the music uh, does it run like throughout the whole period here or? pretty much uh, now we do do we probably do recorded music from four to six this band starts and plays from six to ten okay. so but so they're up there for four hours playing they and to me that seems like a long time to be <laughs> Playing the accordion and blowing them horns, but, <laughs> yeah. but they they eat it up. So they like it as much as we do. Indeed, indeed. The um, you mentioned, uh, Marcia, you mentioned that uh, kids are, are a big part of this. Yes, you know, they are. And you're really sort of <laughs> focusing on some things to keep the kids. You mentioned the inflatable jump uh, around. And we have several inflatables that they can play on. We have 
a tent with uh, several games that uh, uh -huh. they can play the games. The, they're uh, encouraged to dance on the dance floor. And in the past, we've had uh, the children did some demonstration dances. Uh -huh. And so, but I think their favorite is probably the chicken dance. But they, <laughs> but they, you do see yeah, them getting you, involved and they have a lot of you fun. You volunteered to demonstrate that, didn't you? Or? I think I left my music at oh, home. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we, we, we had intended to get to the chicken dance, but, uh, but we'll enjoy that as part of the festivities, yeah. correct? Okay. Yes. How many, how many folks are involved in putting a thing like this together? We have, we have about 20 on, our, on, on the committee or our board, and we've been, we meet about, we've been meeting every week for the last two months. Yeah. And when we put the event on, we have oh, anywhere from 100 to 120 to 150 volunteers that come and work. It's, it's a big proposition to, to put on. It couldn't be done without all the volunteers. That's for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure that's true. You mentioned, uh, you kind of threw out a figure there in terms of the number of people who take part in the activities, mm -hmm. and I realize you aren't going around counting everybody by computer, but yeah. thousands of people? We, we've been, last year I think we were up around 2,500 people. The, uh, the food people bring enough food for four to 5,000 people. So wow. they're, they're ready, they bring it in by the truckload. So, so we're ready for four or 5,000 people. And that's kind of a goal of ours that eventually we'll get up to that. So, mm -hmm. and and the availability of the food basically runs throughout the entire mm -hmm. event. It starts uh, at four mm -hmm. o'clock and and actually will be avail available till ten o'clock at nine. Good stuff. What's your favorite on the menu normally? My favorite's the schnitzel. Now I don't know what Marsh's is, but well, <laughs> for, for those of us for those of us non-German non-Lutherans, what is schnitzel? Schnitzel is a pork, a <laughs> uh, pounded piece of pork, and then deep fat fried. Oh. I guess that's why I like it. So the old saying, if it ain't fried, it ain't food. I, I would guess. tell you, yeah, the deeper you fry it, the yeah. better. And, and your favorite? Norma? My, I have two. One uh. is Birox, and the other and, is... And what's that? Birox is a hamburger, cabbage, and onion mixture Wow. Uh, put inside a, a roll and baked. Okay. And then my second one has to be the apple strudel. Oh, 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 oh that sounds so good. It the, is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The 13th or 8th or however you count it, uh, German Fest coming up Saturday, September 24. Gets underway around 4, continues till around 11, and the whole thing takes place at uh, the Oval at Riverside Park. Jim Dittmer and Marsha Bossi both very busy in putting this thing together as usual, and thanks for your time today. Enjoyed it. Thank you. Well, thank you for having us. We'll have more coming up on Reflections. Mm -hmm.